when did you know that the mother was going to die at the end? I knew pretty early on. <laughs> <laughs> I see. That's what happens. Um, but you never really know. You never really know until you shoot it because things have a way of, of changing. And um, look, we were talking about it up until it aired, you know, when we were in editing. You know, we, uh, we went back and forth, uh, you know, and, and there's no doubt that many people uh, disagreed. Um, but that's sort of the, I don't want to say the fun of it, but, but the beauty of it was that so many people were so invested. Um, and, you know, you can have whatever opinion you want to have. Everybody cared. How great is that? Yeah. What did you think about the ending, personally? I, I thought it was beautiful. Um, and having been on the ride for so long with them, um, I thought it ended the way it should. So talk about shooting the finale. It was a mess. It was a mess. Um, it was really emotional. Um, it, it sort of in two parts. One, Jason was shooting a movie um, at the same time, and we we easily accommodated all of all of them because you know all five of them had had great careers and still do. But during the the shooting of that show, there were things that would come up, and we would just make everything work. Um, and Jason had to go and do a movie, so we had to wrap him early. So we ended up doing the scene at the Far Hampton Inn outside. It was the last scene that the five of them were going to do together, which was really tough. And as, as the real mother of this show, um, it was really hard for me. Um, but it was beautiful, and it was certainly emotional. Um, and all those tears that you see are as real as anything could be. And then when we finally got to the last scene, uh, and it was in fact the scene at the train station um, where uh, Ted meets the mother, um, it was a beautiful set again. And it was we were on a soundstage. There was rain. It was it was a movie, and everybody showed up to that. That stage got very uh, filled up with friends and executives and just all sorts of things. And um, I will say that this remarkable crew, um, they had been trying to get me to cry all week. They were doing things you cannot believe. They had, at one point, um, they acted like there was some drill, some emergency drill, and that we all had to go to the lawn in front of the commissary. I thought, okay, and I followed everybody out. It was just to get me out because they had put a banner up in front of the stage with my name on it and some very kind words. And they're all staring at me. I'm like, I'm not doing this. I'm not, I mean, I can't do, because if I start, I'll never stop. Um, but when it came time for that last moment, um, we, we did the scene a few times. And it turned out that we got, there was just no reason to do it again. And so saying cut for the final time was tough. But they, um, I, I then had a, a few words to say to everybody, but they came over and gave me the yellow umbrella, which um, is uh, something that people are drawn to in my house. It has a, it's on display. Many people have had their pictures taken with that.